today I will be reviewing a game called I Dracula. You've probably heard of it. It was in first place beating Pocket God for a while. They were battling and now Flight Control is in first place. So I Dracula is very fun and you're about to see it. In this game, I Dracula, you take place as a hunter. Well, not really a hunter. You're being hunted. Or you're just trying to survive. So, pretty much, there are hordes of vampires, werewolves, and witches, and then Dracula himself. I, Dracula is an intense survival shooter game. The most intense game in the App Store. You'll begin with a simple gun and slow monsters, but as the time passes, they grow stronger and faster, dropping better weapons. And you'll also be able to gain perks as you earn through ex as you, yeah as you earn enough experience. There are um, four different types of. There's three different maps. I have to say this is my favorite Castle Hall. There's survival, rush, wave attack, and super survival. These are just pretty much your surviving. That one's harder. Rush is there's one horde of zombies and they come at you nonstop and you get unlimited ammo on your gun. Wave attack, there's different like different hordes that come at a time, like wave one, wave two. Reminds me sort of like Gears of War 2 horde attack. So I'm gonna start out with a rush and show you rush. You move by two little wheels. There's one wheel here and one wheel here. You attack by holding down the right wheel and moving your body, like where your gun aims. And here you move by, like, you actually move your character with this wheel. The controls look ha hard, but are simple to get used to. I'm gonna start, you, ha you get three choices. You can have a, uh, like a chain gun, which is like a mini gun or an MG, whatever you want to call it. You can get a, um, right there is a chainsaw, or you can get a flamethrower. I'm going to start off with the, you only get one game the game, one game, uh, one gun through the entire uh, rush mode. Here we go. I'm going to go for this. Okay, now here it comes. And you would think it looks pretty simple to where you could just like go like this. It's not really that simple. You actually have to like spray the zombies with the flamethrower. Chainsaw, they have to get pretty close to you. And uh, minigun, well, you know, just killing zombies. So, rush mode, this never ends and you're trying to get a high score. There are no levels to this in rush mode. Now, if you you can see on the top there's your health, and on the right here, that's a map with all of your uh, with like all of the enemies coming towards you. You can see how many enemies with all those red dots, and you're the one little green cross. So I'm already like halfway done with my health, as you can see, more than halfway, and this is what happens when you die. That. It gives you your rank. If you just started, you are a noob. You have to collect omens to get to the next rank, which is amateur, I believe. And you can move your little guy even when he's dead. That's a glitch I found. You can move your gun, but you can't shoot. Like, you could move, and you see the zombies, and you can see me moving over there. And I'm dead. Pretty much. It tells you how long you survived and your score and how many monsters you killed. They, they aren't really called zombies in this because they're not really zombies. They're vampires, werewolves, witches, and Dracula. So, this is the new picture. Five omens, ten omens to upgrade. It tells you your high score here after each game you play. And pretty much, yeah. So here is play game. I'll do it at Grave Park here. Survival mode. This you just 
have to pick up weapons and survive through the whole like different hordes. It doesn't tell you when like it's a non-stop horde but not like a rush because in rush it's literally non-stop. In this like the zombies are pretty slow and you can have time to adjust. So this is the first thing. You start off now and you get these little werewolves. The werewolves are pretty freaky in this game. You must shoot them at the beginning and you pick up weapons and ammo and health and perks all in this mode. There is uh, rifle ammo and tin bolts for the little like sawed off rifle which is pretty much like a pistol and it's got like 9,999 ammo when you start and you just collect more and you pretty much just do this the whole time uh... there's a rifle it's got like double tap on it and you get better weapons as you progress like here's a crossbow already and crossbows usually take one hit to kill these like white zombies there's different looking zombies um... there a perk is ready and I just got health. So let's see the different types of perks. Let's go get more health and ammo. Let's see the perks. They change pretty much like every time. Bloodlust, which is more damage. Crossbow Master, you learn to shoot uh, three more arrows. Score Master, you get more points. And Sniper increases uh, maximum distance of all your guns. So I'm going to do Crossbow Master. And now it shoots like three little bolts out at them instead of uh, one. So, more health. Here's some grenades when you get the grenade gun. The health is that little green potion. Um, another perk, you got armor, new weapon. This is my favorite perk here. It gives you a new weapon if you have one that is better than the weapon that you have in your hand. So I have a crossbow, and it's going to give me a grenade launcher. It doesn't give you um, the weapon that you like really want. It, it like it doesn't give you the highest weapon. It just gives you a weapon that's one rank higher that they ranked higher than the weapon you have in your hand. So. Uh, the the best weapon would be the ch um, flamethrower, and you get that by pretty much doing exactly what I'm doing. So that is survival mode. Super survival is the same game except you um have to. It's just a little harder. This is wave attack on the next map, Frozen Earth. This game used to be five dollars, right? And now it's ninety nine cents. Like I would it didn't used to be five dollars. If it was five dollars, it would still be a great deal. It's like a steal at 99 cents. I mean, seriously. And, um, there's fun. This is wave one. This is like endless, like never ending zombies. Well, not this mode, but this game. You will play for like hours and hours. It's so fun. So that is I Dracula. In this you can buy buy guns. That's wave attack. Um this review has been by Reviewer of the Games.